All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Vlogmas. Thank you guys for joining for another video. Today, we're gonna do more of a practice round type of practice video. This situation of what I'm talking about doing really helped me get to the next level, I feel like. Um, it is kind of a, something you would do when the course isn't as busy. Um, so if you do have a course that's less busy or less packed around you, I definitely suggest going there. But it's pretty much just a practice routine of throwing the typical shot on the hole, which would be whatever you would typically throw, whether that's sidearm or backhand or over the trees or a skip shot or whatever, and then finding the hardest shot on the hole. So whether that's throwing a huge hyzer over the house, and if the shot doesn't become maybe harder, just maybe a shot you're less comfortable with. So if you're coming up to a hole and you're really good at sidearm and it's an obvious sidearm hole, your next shot should be turnover midrange or turnover putter. Uh, it just is gonna kind of groom you to be more comfortable throwing those shots. Um, so I'm gonna give you guys a demonstration of some holes today and in situations on these holes, what I would do, we're gonna start here on this part four. Also, while you're doing this drill, once you get to the basket, make sure to put those six to 15 putts on every single target. That's really, really crucial to building the confidence on the putting green, but also seeing a lot of putts go in. Don't pick a bunch of putts that are really hard to make or putts that are five feet away. You know, pick some putts that challenge your skill level, but you're still watching the disc on the basket. So you're at a confident range where you're grooming yourself to be okay watching it hit pretty good dead center every single time so this is a 521 foot par four so of course typically i'm going to just throw it flat there's nothing really in the way just a little bit of ob left so i would be going for eagle on this hole so i'm going to throw that shot first and then i'm going to show you guys what i would practice All right guys, so my first shot pulled it a little bit to the right, but that's gonna happen in a tournament. Um, so now I'm just gonna throw Supra down the middle, which is gonna leave me a further up shot back and is about as challenging as I can honestly make this hole. It's a pretty wide open par four, but then it'll make me practice a much longer up shot into the hole. Um, so let's see how this one goes. All right, so here we are at my first drive. This is the shot I would typically throw in a tournament. I did pull it a little right into this here beautiful tree, but I'm just gonna throw a shot I'd throw if I was playing a tournament, trying to get up and down, and then go to my other one. All right, so here we are at my second shot, which is the makes the hole a little more challenging shot. Theoretically, since I hit the tree, it doesn't. It didn't actually make the hole much harder. But I'm going to try to throw it in, which would be harder than just laying up. Um, just to practice in case you have to ever throw it in or you're in a situation where you need to make up a stroke. Um, it's also good to practice things like that because this one isn't really for score. It's just to try to practice something and be more comfortable. So now that we're at the green, this is kind of where you're going to see the big improvement in your game is I'm going to putt for my first shot, like it's a tournament, my first putt, and then I'm going to do between 6 to 12 to 15 putts all around the basket um, on every single hole I play. So on an 18 hole course or whatever, you know, you could get in 200 plus putts if you are dedicated to doing this. And throughout the day, throughout the couple weeks, throughout the months, throughout the year, you keep doing this drill, you're going to be much more confident on harder holes and you're gonna have a lot more putting practice than just going out and playing around with one shot and one putt. And also, when you guys get to the putting green, don't just putt six to 15 putts from the same exact spot. Get different elevation, get different shots, do a shuttle putt, do a jump putt. Obviously out here, there's not much around the green. So this hole was just kind of doing a few putts around, but make sure you're not practicing the same putt over and over again. Otherwise, you might as well just do that to practice basket. All right, so now I'm just gonna run you guys through 
the same drill, but just how I would do it for the next few holes. So here we have a hole. You can either go left or go right. I'm gonna go Supra Heiser, which would be like the easier shot. And then I'm gonna throw putter turnover, which would be the harder shot. And then we're gonna putt around the basket and move on to the next hole. That's not going to require much putting. <laughs> I ate ace. All right, guys, we're here. The easiest shot in this hole, for me at least, would be a nice little hyzer over the trees. Um, so that's what I'm gonna throw first. Then I'm gonna throw putter kind of right at the light pole here and kind of let it peel a little bit um, and just get down to the basket. This is gonna be the last hole. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for continuing to support Vlogmas. It means a lot to me. We'll catch you guys in the next one.